everyone. Welcome to Detroit, Michigan. We are so excited to be here and we are even more excited to be staying in the Pebble. Can't wait to show you this accommodation that we have here. We are only a nine minute drive outside of downtown Detroit and we have truly found a little oasis. Let's go check it out. When you first enter the Pebble, you have this little type of garden area with some very curious tenants. <laughs> Sir, we're trying to film a video here. Do you understand? Sir. Oh, yes. oh okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> As you can see, the Pebble is an awesome tiny home that isn't really all that tiny if you ask me. You walk into the main living area and you're greeted with a full kitchen with stainless steel appliances, full-size refrigerator, and gas stove, and a great little sitting area for working and or eating. And they even give you treats for the chickens so they can have a bite to eat with you as well. <laughs> So moving just past the living area, you have the sleeping area. And a lot of it, look how much headroom I have. And I'm over six feet tall. Look how much freaking space I have up here. <laughs> you have these queen size bed down here with an electric fireplace and big screen television for your comforts. And then up the ladder, room for two more to sleep up top here. So why don't we go check out the bathroom? also not tiny at all just wait until you see this so through this door we have an entire full-size bathroom including full-size shower and tub regular plumbing toilet sink with enough vanity space for everything that you could need and my personal favorite and the last thing that I ever expected to see in a tiny home is a washer and dryer this is so exciting we don't have washer and dryers in like most regular Airbnbs we stay in so for a tiny home to have one I'm very happy Not only is this tiny home incredibly spacious, but it's incredibly well lit. We have windows on every single side of the tiny home to let in all of the natural light, including this beautiful picture window right by the dining table so you can hang out with the chickens while you're inside. And one more thing that I love about this tiny home is the storage. So this is our first time staying in a tiny home and I am just blown away by how much storage there is. Everything is so efficient, which you need to do when you have a smaller space. These cabinets are so huge and so deep. They act as a closet and we're even gonna be able to store our luggage in here. There's a place for everything. If you've heard anything about Detroit, then you've probably heard that there's a pretty significant housing crisis going on here, and that's been going on here for a long time. What's interesting about this tiny house is that staying here and at a similar tiny house down the road, both of these are actually positioned in the backyard of a full-size house. And the reason that this is here is because Airbnb out the tiny house properties allows the owners to actually keep the rent prices in the main house lower for local people who live in Detroit, therefore helping keep housing affordable for the people that live here. And that's a pretty special thing to be a part of and is just one of the reasons that we're so happy to be staying here. So as you can see, there's a lot to love about this place. And if you're interested in staying here, we'll link in the description this Airbnb so you can stay here too. <laughs> the chickens are doing, doing. like knocking. <laughs> <laughs> And if you don't know, I'm Eric. I'm Crystal. And we are on a two month road trip throughout the Midwest. Detroit is one of our very first stops. So like this video and subscribe for more because we have a lot more coming, including a deeper dive into Detroit that we're excited to get into. Can't wait for it. All right, so we'll see you there. See you there. <laughs>